riding. I want to show you some um, a little thing for passing st strings from a file to. Yeah, you'll you'll see what I mean in a minute. Using the command, I'm actually going to be doing a, a series of little programming exercises. Um, basically, because I've not run it for a while, so just bear with me if I mess up. <laughs> I've just got a coffee because um, my brain's sort of um, not awake yet. But, whoop. Uh, make directory, show text. I'm sure you're assuming that the, the so what, what, the, what the whole idea is, I'm going to start off with a couple of series of different examples on on this particular routine but the whole, the whole principle is to from a dos prompt like what we're using now i want to be able to go show text and then a string um i'll do it that way just to sh just to show text at the moment but what i want it to do is show it in the color and that's basically it. It's just an early edition first. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to... You'll see what I mean once I start running it and explaining how it works. So we're running the environment. Now this is QBX. This is the personal development system. Now it is one of the Microsoft's first before Visual Basic came out. So if I go uh, using help. I does not using help. And that is irritating bleeping sound. Right, so what we need to do is to carry a dimension um, CM string for, my, for now, for arguments. No, I don't need to do that because it'll still set up an array of reading it anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to bear this one in mind as, whoops, show text. So we're just going to set up the syntax and, oh, and we're going to go text. That's all we're starting with at the moment, making it really simple. And we're not going to clear the screen, but what we want to do is just show text um, on the line. In fact, in the centre of the screen. Or within a colour range, I don't know yet. Um, let's see. So what we're basically going to do is we go command string. Whoops. Command string equals command string now what basically does is this command carries from the environment when it's compiled through the interpreter into the program so in anything if you say for example a dos prompt you type in show text nick the nick would be carried on into the command string so I'll show you what I mean. So if I whoops, command string, right? So on this particular case, we'll just split it a bit and we'll go command string. Now usually with MS DOS, it carries the string as a capital. So even though if I type it lowercase, regardless, it will still do it as an uppercase program, you know, an uppercase string. Now what we're going to do is we're going to save it as show text. And we're going to do that and we're going to go make no error checking, far strings, near strings, we're all right. We're good to go, right, okay. So now we've got that. So if we go show text and I go Nick, there it is, Nick. But if I go, the world is not enough, it will show the world is not enough. So what we need to do now is show text. And what we can do now is, uh, if we wanted to, we could carry that string into different commands. So show text. If I wanted to, I could go like, say, for example, I want it to carry the time or the date. So in other words, if command string, whoops, if command string equals time, 
the actual function instead would be whoops, command string equals time string. Actually, you could do it this way. I think it's format. Let me just have a look. Um, contents index. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, is it format? Is it format or is it string? I think it's format, isn't it? Format, format, format. Let's have a look. Format, format, function, format. I'm sure it was format or was it string? Format X, format structure, format, format X. Basically what I want to do is be able to carry is it format X string, format C string, what are these? Oh, is it print use? You know why it's been such a long time since I is it print using? So if it's print using instead, I think it is print using. It is formatting and right, okay, so look forward. Blah, 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 blah. Right, yeah, so that's that sets the variables, but uh, that's the values. Is it time? You know what? It's been such a long time since the last used this. If you go time, right, um, time and date, time serial, time or time, time string, time statement, time function. Right, so time statement is that so this one, but we want time string. Time statement. All right, okay. Time statement. Uh, all right, so that's setting it. Right, we want it to do format. I'm sure it was format. I used to use a function where you could go format and it will type in a specific method of function keys uh, function statement now you know what it's been such a long time I wonder if it's in VB DOS the function there was a format string where you could carry um, what's called a now statement with um, date time and month now is a now Now, there's no hash. Number of presents, of current date, and whatever. All right, month debt. All right, okay. So, we could do now, day, serial. Okay. What? Well, uh, now... Our whoops. Bear with me, guys, because I'm just testing stuff out. Because it's been such a long time since I last used this. And now. Minute. Whoops. I'm wrong there, aren't I? So I need to take that into the variable. Oops. That one. Uh. Oh. Uh. The emulate is not very. Mm. Actually, what will that turn out is now. I think that's going to carry us a variable, isn't it? It's, got, it's not going to be a string, so we need to do insert. All oh, right, okay. So we need to turn that into a string. Oh, there we go. 
it's got a saw here. Right, let's try that out. So, as I'm carrying off a time, so if I go to run now, compile it, type mismatch. Uh, well, well, well. All right, okay. So we'll just take that off. No, that's right, isn't it? Uh, is it in brackets? Um, no. <laughs> it's a bit. I'm a bit rusty. Um, chill, chill, chill. One, two. That closes the parenthesis. Little question and then plus. No. Uh, 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 let's just have a look. Is that now? Oops. Go now. I want to see the now function. Right. Now hash. Is it now hash? So let's just see the, the value for the hash. I need an example. Oh. Right. Okay. So now. Oh. Has it got to include these libraries? Well, it's got to include the library, hasn't it? It's a plugin library. Hmm. Ah, right, okay, see what I mean? Total difference and. Um, ah, right. These were added a favour on. Yeah, these are in VB, VB DOS. Oh, such a long time since I used it. Right, plus 60 days, 60 minutes, an hour. I don't want to make it too difficult because this will this bit here would have to be added to my variables and I don't think now I'll just I'll, no I'll just make it simple at the moment I'll just I want to carry the string so you just go time string. Right? I'm just doing it this way for the moment. And then we can just do it with the date. But in the next video I'll probably cuz I'll to be honest with you, it's like it's a good 20 years since I last coded with these, with this basic language. This was one of the very first I started with when I was writing databases and all sorts of stuff. Date string. Um, I could use a character set actually, so if I go F um, command string and I go character set, right, then oh, end if, right, okay, so what we need to do now is <coughs> We clear the buffer. Whoops. And what we're going to do, pass the ASCII character set through. Um, whoop, have we got a string? There we go. Right, okay, so we go for, whoops, for t equals 32 to 6 to 255. Now, the, the reason why I'm not doing before 32 is because the, the character set functions for the bell, for the cursor keys, for the options under carriage return and stuff. Anything before them, the number, number 32 is the commands in the character set, um, you know, to function on the screen. So if I run any of the ones before that, you get all gobbledygook. Um, right, so... so what we're going to do is we're going to command string 
equals command string plus character string oops character string um, T so what that's basically doing is it's taking each character and it's adding it to the character set character set so you're going to end up with all the characters in the one line you'll, you'll see it in a bit anyway but uh, that's basically that one so if we run this now I'll show you what I mean right so we've got time date and character set so let's go for it so yep yeah, there we go so we go show text nothing right we go show text well and we go Nick right we go show text and we go uh, time whoops oh it's carrying mm, yeah okay <laughs> I'll keep forgetting it's carrying the um, that's my fault show text my fault you know why because I need to convert that string to lowercase so what we can do is we can go lowercase whoops so right now what that's going to do is all the commands I type will be now lowercase unfortunately for the moment until I do a work round um, even if I go show text Nick it'll show as lowercase but if I now go show text and I go time there's the time there's the date and then obviously the last one is character set there you go Anyway, that's a quick one for today. Very, very short, but to the point, <laughs> that's how we used to do it. When, when I used to write the code for the utilities and stuff, and you pass the string through a program you wrote, that this is how you'd compile it. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. You know where I am. If you like this kind of stuff, drop me a line, you know. Add subscribe, usual stuff.